So you may have seen my previous video styling 2021 trends and while I have a lot of fun playing around with that, I do understand that not everyone can or wants to participate in buying new trends every single season, especially considering the industry sadly put somewhat of an expiration date on them. So I turned to Instagram and asked you guys what are those outdated trends you have just taking up space in the back of your wardrobe and compiled a small list so hopefully we can come up with some fresh ideas on how to style them today. First up, we have teddy bear jackets. These had a major moment thanks to Emma Chamberlain, everyone wearing them with crop tops, mum jeans, scrunchies. And honestly, when it comes to a coat or jacket that's trendy, I feel like it's more of an investment. They're typically more expensive. So for me, I've been wearing my teddy bear jacket regardless over the years. But if you're looking for an excuse to bring yours back, honestly, I think this season is the perfect timing because brown for starters is such a trendy color at the moment and also this is a really easy one to style in with that more 70s retro theme that we're seeing a lot of this sort of aesthetic definitely feels a little bit more playful which i think is great because it really takes you out of that more simplistic 2017 mindset and you really feel like you're getting a fresh start with this one Hands down, the most common response, skinny jeans, and I hear ya, but wanted to give a disclaimer that I feel like jeans we shouldn't treat as trends, more so just try and find the right fit and style that works for you, your body type, and that you feel comfortable wearing. With that being said, the people have spoken, so I am still styling these skinny jeans, and my goal is to go for a different silhouette that steers clear from this fitted from head to toe look, and I found the easiest way to do this is actually taking your more oversized or flowy layer and styling it underneath the fitted top. Instantly, this adds more dimension to the look. I really like how this corset still keeps your waist nice and cinched, but we still get that longer line shirt skimming nicely over the hips. Personally, I like to make sure I keep the center unbuttoned. I do find this more flattering. Otherwise, if I have this done up, I find it really cuts me off at an awkward length. I finished off with my cowboy boots. To be fair, I would style these with practically anything, but I did think they were a good idea for skinny jeans because they kind of distract from the fact that these jeans are fitted around the ankles. Really, you have no idea was going on beneath these cowboy boots. Okay, there were so many requests for skinny jeans that I figured I should do a round two and I'm gonna keep it more simple this time around, not even trying to disguise the fact that they're skinny jeans, really going all in, elongating the legs with these platform boots. I am, however, still going for one piece that has a longer line cut. This time around is the outerwear piece and I think that instantly makes this more of a classic sort of feel. I don't know, I feel like you could wear this whenever and if you wanted to update it to be more current, you could just choose a color that's trendy at the moment. Blue isn't actually an example of that, just a color that I happen to be feeling right now. Other small things you could do when you have more of a classic base like this is playing around with different accessories or even hair and makeup can make a really big difference. So the funny thing about trends is they always come back eventually. Checkerboard had a massive moment maybe five years ago, kind of around the same time we were putting flames on everything, but ironically it's in for 2021 as well. The only thing we need to adjust is kind of the inspiration behind styling it. So instead of that more pop punk sort of feel to it, we're going for a 60s influence. I feel like so many of us owned this exact same skirt. So if you still have it in your wardrobe, whip it back out. I actually kept the styling quite simple for this 60s look and really wanted to focus on doing white accessories originally. But then when I added this coat over the top, I was like, hmm, and maybe we need to switch it out to some black boots instead. I don't actually know which one I prefer. I guess it's just whether you want outerwear or not. And although the 60s used a lot of primary pop colors, I actually felt more comfortable going for this more pastel tone. I just really wanted to steer clear of the red, orange, yellow that I associated checkerboard with previously. I could practically hear you guys yelling flannels at me and what I gather is we were all on Tumblr at the same time so I figured why not add another Tumblr staple, the good old skater skirt, circle skirt. Um, unfortunately, I malfunctioned and ended up dressing straight out of a 2015 Tumblr post. So I don't know how helpful this one actually is. My original inspiration was actually Jisoo from Blackpink. She wore this for the Lovesick Girls music video and stage performance. I fell in love. I thought it looked so freaking cool. Um, 
I, however, didn't nail it. I don't know what I got wrong, but it's just a little bit off. Hopefully you guys can see where I was trying to take it though. But one hopefully helpful tip that I have for the circle skirt is actually layering another skirt underneath, preferably one with some tulle mesh to really add that volume and create a brand new silhouette. I think this instantly updates Let's face it, quite an outdated style. Sorry this wasn't as fresh a take as some of the other items, but I don't know. Sometimes you just want a bit of a nostalgia hit. I was actually really surprised how many responses there were for off the shoulder, not gonna lie. Didn't really realize these were out of style, but there you go. Personally, I don't wear them too much because they're not the most flattering on me. I do have quite broad shoulders in proportion. So my main way to try and counteract that and make sure there's not too much decolletage on display is by styling, in this case, a vest, but really any top that has these kind of short, thick straps and you can take the actual styling concept in whatever direction you want. I decided, hey, let's go chaotic cowgirl. Shout out Itsy, always coming through with that inspo, but I don't know why, I just never get over this one. And you know what? Cowboy hats and snakeskin are probably another two things that people would consider outdated at this point, but if it's something that you genuinely do love, I think you will continue to wear it regardless. We could all see this one coming, leggings. And yes, they're kind of having a resurgence at the moment with the yoga pant flared style leggings, but we're talking about the OG plain black skinny leggings today. I kept the whole base really simple actually. And even the concept, I just wanted to keep it casual and cozy with the oversized sweatshirt. I feel like the main difference is really in the leg warmers. For some reason, people are just craving more volume around the ankles at the moment. And this is the easiest quick fit for that. I personally think that it looks best if you style them with a really chunky shoe as well, just to keep it really solid and grounded. And I gotta say, I've never really been one for leggings, but I think I just changed my own mind with this outfit. It makes me smile. Granted, it probably is in large part due to the most adorable cat sweater, but I don't know, something very comforting about this look. Okay, we're trying to tackle three styles in one this time around. Animal print, long oversized cardigans, and the main attraction, the American apparel denim skirt. I feel like so many of us had one version of these. I went for this one, which honestly I think was a mistake even at the time because it's just not the most flattering fit. I never really knew how to style it properly, so I'm still not sold on this outfit either. I don't really even have any particular styling tips for this. This just came to me. Even the fact that I'm using a long cardigan was completely coincidental. I just didn't feel like the crop style matched too well. And really, it's probably a matter of time before these come back around anyway. It always goes in cycles. I know recently they're more so clown for being like the mum style cardigan, but you can make it work. Cinch that bad boy in at the waist and it looks cute. The fact that it had this leopard print trim, I decided just to go all in on. I feel like that is a common theme for me. I see one thing, I run with it. So we've got the stockings and the matching fluffy bucket hat as well. I don't know, I feel like it's a mood, I could be wrong. We really just let athleisure run wild. For a few years there, Adidas, Nike, Champion logos on everything, and sports has never been my forte. I have no idea why I owned this top originally, but today I figured I'd challenge myself to take it in more of a cutesy sort of direction, and surprisingly, kind of like how it turned out. I layered this collar underneath and then teamed it with the tennis skirt, both taking it in more of a preppy sort of direction. But by throwing on this oversized hoodie, I think it helps balance out the look. It doesn't feel like you've taken this athleisure piece and trying to force it to fit where it doesn't really belong. I brought the leg warmers out again because I actually got quite a few comments about them. I feel like these are a trendy piece, not an outdated piece, but here's just another idea on how to style them. I think again, it helps to balance out the look. I really hope this video was somewhat helpful to give you some fresh ideas and maybe just change your mindset on some pieces that you might have previously considered outdated and out of style. 
remember wear whatever you want regardless of whether someone says it's on trend i'd love to do more videos like this so let me know which looks were your favorite this time around and what things you might want to see considered for a part two i'm also thinking of doing styling items i never wear in my wardrobe i've seen some people do that it looks like a lot of fun so hopefully you guys will stick around and i'll see you next time bye